and congratulations to the class of 2021. By completing your degrees in the Michigan State University College of Education, you have achieved a great accomplishment. I'm proud of the countless ways you have overcome challenges and achieved academic and personal success on your way to this moment. As you embark on your careers in education and kinesiology, the world remains in the midst of a global pandemic and the weight of great inequities. But I know you will make the schools, organizations, and communities in which you serve stronger and healthier for the future. As you ceremoniously move your tassels across your caps, I hope you savor the moment, knowing that you have not only achieved your goal, but have become forever part of the Spartan alumni family. We celebrate each of our 2021 graduates and list your names throughout this video. Congratulations again and best wishes to you and your family. Hello everyone, bienvenidos a todos. I am honored to be here before you today on such a monumental day for many of us. Monumental is defined as of or serving as a monument. Monumental means great in importance, extent, or size. Today for me is monumental because today I become the first in my family to graduate from college. Today, as the oldest in a first-generation Mexican-American family, I am accomplishing one of my parents' wildest dreams. I have been a trailblazer all of my life, and I think for many of us, that feeling of today being a huge monument resonates for our own individual reasons. For some of us, we might not have thought that this moment would ever come. For some, no one ever believed you could go to college, let alone finish college, and yet here you stand proving to them you are capable of this and so much more to come. For some of you, today is special because loved ones have made unimaginable sacrifices. And with this, you get to thank them for a portion of all that. For some, today is monumental because you are a single parent and through caring for your child and your academics, you celebrate today. For whatever your reason is that makes today monumental, I wanna say congratulations. A monument in itself means that it is great in importance, extent, or size. And I know for me personally, to get to this day felt like a mountain I had to climb. A mountain full of beautiful and difficult moments, full of assignments, late night study sessions, group projects, some fun times at the unions, walks down Grand River and through campus, getting combos, and added to our mountain this final year was a global pandemic. New safety guidelines, losing loved ones, handling grief and separation, and many other hurdles. But along my journey up this mountain, there were a few things that kept me slowly climbing up towards the summit and that I wanna share with you all today to take on with you as you climb your next mountain. First is my mom's favorite saying, quítate ese miedo. This translates to get rid of that fear. Many times at the beginning of my college career and along the way, there have been things that scared me. Whether that was fear that I would not get into a program, fear that I was not good enough, fear of what people may think or say, fear of sending that late night email to a professor, even fear of applying to be a commencement speaker. But one thing I could never do was let that fear stop me because my worst fear would be regret of never even trying. I learned that I could not doubt myself because so many other people were already doubting me and fearing my success. Through my mom's words, I learned to live my life boldly and unapologetically. Aprendí a quitarme ese miedo and to go for it. As we finish our undergrad, I want all of you to continue quitándose ese miedo. As you go into the classroom or into your new profession, into the kinesiology field and anything you have planned, I urge you, do not let that fear ever stop you. As you climb your next mountain, do not let the size stop you, but simply start and take those challenges on little by little. I know that as I move forward, some of the mountains that seem exuberantly huge are battling racism, sexism, many isms, but I am not going to not try. In my future classroom, I want to be a catalyst of change. So whatever the mountain is, quítate ese miedo and get started. Next, I would not be who I am today without the community that I have been so lucky to find here at Michigan State. I graduated from a high school of just 76 students. 
And when I first came in as a freshman with 7,950 other students, I felt so alone and out of place. As time went on, I was able to make friends, join organizations such as the ICA program, Culturas de las Razas Unidas, my sorority, and many others. I recently came across a new word in Spanish that I would love to share with all of you. The word is inmarchesible, meaning que no se puede marchitar. It is a flower that will never wilt or fade. This word stood out to me because when I was little, one of my favorite songs was Selena's Como la Flor where she talks about her love dying like a flower. But here at Mich Michigan State, I have been able to grow an everlasting garden of people around me. We all started off as seedlings that were watered and nurtured by our loved ones. High school experiences and we formed our roots. But then by coming to college, I think we can all agree that we have blossomed into new amazing versions of ourselves. Today, we are flowers that thanks to the new knowledge and growth that we have experienced here, but more so now we are a garden, a community. So as you go on to conquer your next monumental moment, I urge you to find a community that will water your growth, teach you new things, challenge you, and love you unconditionally. Genuine connections have been my sunshine in dark times. These people and the relationships I have made supported me as I embarked on my journey to the top. I have my own garden interwoven with multiple communities and experiences, such as the Urban Educators Cohort Program, the Urban Immersion Fellowship, professors, mentors, faculty, staff, friends, sisters, and family that have been there for me to lean on. As a friend said, I think that those connections and our own determination is why we are here today. No matter where my life takes me next, I know that I will never be alone again like I was my freshman year. Because you are here today, I know that you have at least one person rooting for your success. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. Lo hicimos. We were not scared and we started this journey however many years ago, whether that was three, four, five, or maybe even six. And today we finished it. We are here on a monumental day, marking the end of our time here at Michigan State, but the beginning of a beautiful new adventure. I am so proud of each one of us, and I wish you all the best. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary Curran, and I'm honored to be here virtually with you all today. If you had asked me at the beginning of my college experience if I thought I would be starting a graduation speech, thanking the College of Education for planning any form of an in-person graduation, I would have laughed in your face and without a mask. The class of 2021 has been through the most difficult and unique college experience, and through it all, we have been grateful for the little moments and even smaller victories. Today is one of those moments. After zooming through a year and a half of instruction with virtual placements, I am thankful to be projected in the same parking lot as so many inspiring educators and healthcare professionals. Now, I could go on and on about how atypical this experience was and how much we all wish we could have been in person how we missed out on senior year game days, college-wide bar crawls, and navigating Wells Hall that final time. But I think we've all thought about that too much already. So yes, I could speak about what we had to go through as a class endlessly, but I'd much rather highlight what we grew through. Through adversity and challenges, we became a class that completely defied all expectations set for us. I remember when Michigan State announced that we had two snow days in 2019, and our professors told us that this would be the most unforgettable moment of our college experience, as something like this just never happens. How naive and funny hearing that now, and now looking back, I remember being so excited for two days off, and I would do anything to have those two days back. Our class will be able to tell our kids, future students, and clients that we are at Michigan State when they called not one snow day, but two. Now we can also say that we were at Michigan State during a global pandemic and those days of not having class in person were much longer and much more challenging. Virtual learning forced us to face a lesson we will teach our students, which is how to persevere and do it with pride. I won't say that this past year and a half have always been filled with grace and joy because it hasn't, but I can say we are all different and stronger people because of it. I remember one moment in my TE404 class, my professor asked us to share what we are hoping for with the upcoming spring semester and I set a lockdown. I broke down in tears because I had been home in Novi for almost half a year and hadn't seen any of my college friends in person since March. I genuinely wanted a lockdown because I thought we could have in-person graduation because of it. And thankfully, here we are. After sharing that, I remember being so embarrassed, but all of my classmates direct messages on Zoom to me afterwards, told me I wasn't alone and reminded me that we had grown. 
We became more empathetic and better people because of this pandemic. We were given this immense challenge and could have gone through the motions and just finished out, but we grew into it. We completed our coursework with determination. We raised our voices to fight against racial injustice in the summer, and we demanded a more equitable education for ourselves and future teachers. We took what we had learned throughout our time in the College of Education about the importance of equity and diversity and used it to demand a change so that we are better educators for our students and better professionals for our clients. We also used it to educate others around us, friends, family, and students, on the importance of treating everyone with respect and providing every individual the tools to succeed. So yes, we are the class that was given the worst hand to deal with, but we are also the class that did not accept anything less than great for things that were within our control. When faced with adversity and challenges, we did not falter, but instead we picked up the pace. We were faced with a difficult situation and instead of letting it destroy us, we learned from it. We learned things about ourselves, about the world, and we learned how to become the best teachers and professionals. Then we taught students and we practiced our skills. We put in the work, even on Zoom, and we impacted lives. We truly just didn't go through college, we grew through college. I can honestly say that looking back to my freshman year, I am nowhere near the same person I was then. I am better, and that is the Spartan difference. Spartans will gain their voice over their time at MSU and learn the tools to use it in the best way possible. Spartans will learn to rise to a challenge and complete it with grace and fairness. Spartan educators learned how to become more socially aware and inclusive than the teachers before them. Spartan educators will change the world, and that I am sure of. As I look out at all the caps and gowns with all the unknowns about the future, one thing I do know to be true is that we grew into people that will change the world. I have no doubt in my mind that we are ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives, whatever that is, and whether in person or virtual, because I know that the world will be a better place because of us and our time at Michigan State. So class of 2021, take a moment and take it all in. Take in your personal and academic growth and celebrate it. You did that. You graduated when the world was literally telling you not to. Just know that you accomplish greatness and know that there are better days and more in-person hugs in the future. And in that future, remember the days spent on or off MSU's campus where you learned that simply going through the motions is enough because you are growing through them as well. Remember to continue to grow into whatever challenges you face next and remember that you are Spartan Strong. Congratulations class of 2021 and remember, go green. Hello, I'm Christine Bowman, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs in the College of Education. Thank you to our commencement speakers for their reflections and for providing us inspiration looking forward. I would also like to add my personal congratulations to everyone graduating this semester. Your accomplishments have been truly great in the face of many challenges. We look forward to celebrating the many accomplishments you will have in the years to come. I also want to pay special tribute to the graduates who have earned additional honors for their academic achievement. This includes those who have maintained the highest grade point averages in the university's 2021 class, thereby meriting the prestigious Board of Trustees Award. To be eligible, at least three-fourths of the credits for the degree must be earned while at MSU. This year, a total of 16 graduating College of Education seniors are receiving the Board of Trustees Award. Each of these students has maintained a grade point average of 4.0. They are Taylor Arnold, Sarah Bassett, Christina Carillon, Morgan Ham, Samantha Kowalsik, Lauren Lancaster, Annika Linsmeyer, Madison McWethy, Madeline Motlock, Anthony Morocco, Madison Noom, Shelby Peterson, Amanda Petrowski, Brenna Stottlemyer, Ellery Phil, and Sarah Westman. I would also like to recognize two additional students who have earned the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award from the College of Education for achieving a perfect grade point average. They are Tyler Brown and Taylor Itzel Olson. All of you should be proud of the outstanding academic record that honors you, your family, the College of Education, and the university. 
on behalf of your classmates, as well as faculty, advisors, and administrators at the College of Education, it is an honor to extend you our sincere congratulations and our best wishes. Although you are all off to the next chapters in your lives, know that you will always be part of the Spartan family. We hope to stay connected to the College of Education, and we look forward to sharing your future journeys with you. Congratulations again, and go green.